Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kate Plays Shogunners. And today we are on a mission to rescue the Mortician, who is uh, within this pod. I believe the completion of my objective relies entirely on my ability to hit this button, defended by an ogre and several scum. So let's go to work, babies. Scarlet, make an assault run. Get up in there. 100% shot. Smoke the guy. He is going to be immobilized. Let's get over here. Take some decent cover. Warden, get your stompy old self going here. Tybalt needs to reload. Warden's good on ammo. Okie dokie. One more decent hit. The Warden will need a new self-repair cycle. Ogre just noodling. Absolutely. Ayo, can't hit Scarlet. Oh, wibbly wobbly Scarlet. All right. Now we can go for a really aggressive assault right here. I could get Tybalt. Uh, do I want to do that? I could get the Warden up and just melee that guy. What is his melee attack? 13 to 15. There's a pretty good chance that's a kill if I can do it. Do it, Warden. Stomp right in there and punch his brain out. Oh, God damn it! Don't take 14 damage as you do it, though. Oh, why did he have to still be alive? All right. Now, Scarlet, we can get a nasty combo. I can... I get it like a 55 on that guy from right there. So I could run in here, melee him, get the kill, and then run back, maybe? Or, 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 I could just use Tybalt, have him reload and take a shot. I think he should get a pretty good hit percentage. Oh no, he can't see past the fucking warden, dude's too big. Although, if I move him in here, he would get an 88. So I think the play here is I have Scarlet move up here, just take a shot and smoke him. Oi! I don't know... I don't know what that poster was for, but we ain't never going to find out now. He is staying on that button, my guy. For a clear shot. See if I can keep drawing the scum out. For them to come to him. Why would you do that, buddy? Alright, we've got five turns to hit the button. Got one turn before the rest of the badasses roll in behind us. But I want to make sure that we got something good going on. I am going to run Tibble up here in a single move. Come on, just miss. Just miss. Miss him. Oh, yeah, you suck so damn bad. No luck with the Overwatch. Body swap with the scum. See if I can get that ogre to shoot him. He disguises himself as the enemy. And then I will have Scarlet reload. And maintain Overwatch in case Idiot Bowles decides to move. Is the Ogre going to take the bait? Yes. He missed. You fucking stupid bastard. The Scum is going to also take the bait. You also missed. Why are you also goddamn terrible at this? Scum's going to take a shot. Get drilled in the back by Scarlet. And miss, oh, this is all coming up roses for your boy. Of course, there's another ogre there, and I bet that central gate opens up. All right, I have not a very large amount of time to deal with that ogre. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go unhittable. 
She's taking every precaution. We are going to run out here. We are going to throw a Mark, Mark II frag over here. We're not going to take any damage, but we'll be in the smoke. This is genius. He's getting ready for round two. All right. He's in. I put him into a regeneration cycle. I'm going to have Tibble run up here. I'm going to take this shot, and I really hope I get the kill off of this. Uh, it did not happen. Warden's still in a rep cycle. Ogre stomping. I've got maybe one more good turn before that guy gets all up in my beans. Scum's going to reload. He's going to fire a Tibble and miss because he's pointless. The scum is just going to sit there and hope that everything is fine. All right. Scarlet, what's your melee damage? 12 to 14. You... No, 9 to 11. All right, you can't make that kill. The Warden has a melee damage of 13 to 15, so might be able to make that kill. So why don't we rampage in, punch this guy into blood paste, exactly what I wanted. I will have Tibble step forward into this little gap right here with some decent cover. And I will have him throw his Mark II grenade. Which I cannot quite get to the area that I needed to be in. Alright. But he can shoot through smoke. So shoot that ogre, buddy. That should keep him in a regen cycle. While I have Scarlet go and punch this guy's brain. Which should give her back one AP. Which I can then use to execute a melee attack from here, which also puts me beside the button. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Alright, the smoke is now cleared. Warden should be able to make the cleanest shot of the century. As long as I can isolate the ogre, it's fine. I can do enough damage. I can then also have Tibble reload and then throw some additional damage into the stack here. We can take an ogre. And I think I can have Scarlet. Uh, we can run over here and I still have a 100% shot. But then I, I should stay out of the way of the other ogre who is trying to be a funny boy. So we're going to go here. We're going to take the shot. 15's the kill. Ogre down. All right, got one more turn to hit that button. Ogre, if you're going to do it, you better do it, buddy. The scum's rocking up. We bought ourselves some time. All right, we will have the hammer push the button. Just in time. Oh, yes. The mortician is indeed safe. So let's have the warden back out to, like, here. Let's have Tibble run to here. And the warden... I mean, there's no reason not to just reload. And Scarlet, you can also reload. Let's make sure we're ready for when that ogre storms the building. Depending on if he's going to shoot the warden, I'm pretty sure, but... No, he's not. The scum's going to shoot the warden, though. Oh, can you not, man? You just don't. All right, warden, hit that shot. Put the ogre into regen. Is 20 damage enough to put him into regen? 
No. Tibble, pour more damage onto him. Tibble cannot actually hit him from there. Tibble, step forward so you're in better cover, and then pour more damage into him. So if we get him under half, he goes into regen. And then Scarlet, you can't actually see the ogre from there either. But the ogre is going to be in regeneration, so I can have Scarlet run here and take a very good shot against that scum. We're buying ourselves some time because the warden and uh, the warden and Tybalt can keep the ogre in regen. In fact, I think just the warden alone can now keep the ogre in regen. But all Scarlet has to do is murder this scum. Perfect. Oh yeah, it's a rampage. Yeah, it's a rampage. Tybalt reload and keep throwing damage into that ogre. Like, it gets sketchy. You really have to... You really got to focus on pouring damage into these ogres. But you can, you can lock them in their regen cycle as long as you can keep the damage output high. Reload your big goof cannon. Shoot him. Go, Warden, go. Warden versus Ogre. Big boy versus big boy. That's how we trying to roll here. All his legs and arms came off. Bloody fantastic. And that's it. The challengers make it look easy. That, that was not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. And for the optional reward, I saved the mortician too. Because we're good people and we save lives, man. That's, that's what it's all about. Murder Inc. I love it. Our challengers are ready to search the area for some more enemies to send to the crematorium. You are absolutely right. And if you want to find out how correct Joe Stern is, you'll have to watch the next episode because I have been Cade. This has been Showgunners. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>